Hey folks, Matt from writeoftheimage.com. We've got uh, Stuart writing in, and the heading of this email is, full frame, should I? So he's obviously considering a full frame camera, and he's wondering if he should go ahead with it. He says, hi Matt, I love your videos and your perspective on gear. So after going through many cameras, the Canon T6i, T7i, and SL2, I've settled and developed a great love for my SL2. And I, can I just interject? I'm not surprised. I love the little SL2. It's a darling of a little camera, and the price is fantastic. It's like a baby uh, 80D at you know close to half the price, and it's just it's an awesome little camera. I really like it. Uh, while I'm crazy about my SL2, I can't help to think about what's next or if this is the best camera for me. I'm also obsessed with technology. Yeah, that's unfortunately, a lot of our problem is get camera gear lust. So I've been wondering, should I upgrade my SL2 to the 60 Mark II, or should I buy a Sony a7 II or a7 III and keep my SL2 to have a more versatile kit? Uh, I want to keep a Canon in my kit, he says in brackets. Most of my photography is for my business, so I do a lot of product shots on and off for models, product videos, and personal landscape, cityscape, and street photography for myself. Do you think I should just stick with the SL2 for my needs for now, or would the 60 Mark II upgrade Sony Edition would be my best bet? Should I wait to see if we're going to get a 90D or a full-frame Canon mirrorless? I know technology is and everything, but I still want a camera that's going to give me the best images, especially in low light. Thanks so much, Stu. Well, thanks for your question, Stu. I argue with myself about this type of thing all of the time because it's a question of um, I'm always looking at new stuff. It's this fun new tech and all the features it has and whatnot. I do really like the SL2. I think you'd be fine with it for now, honestly. If you have the money, money's not a concern here. The 60 Mark II is a very nice camera. Um, I'm not sure I'd consider switching to the a7 III. My, my concerns with going to the Sony a7 III would be um, the lenses. You've probably heard me say if you're a regular viewer – the lenses, to get decent lenses in the Sony, you're going to spend more. In other words, they don't really have great budget-friendly lenses like Canon and Nikon do. You can get less expensive, um, good quality budget lenses in Nikon and Canon and not so much in the in the uh, Sony lineups. So I, I guess it depends on your budget. Um, if your budget, if, you, if you've got the money and you're okay with it, then sure, why wouldn't you spend the money and get a camera you want? Uh, but I think I might lean more towards the 6D Mark II if I was you. Uh, with the caveat that it seems like you're really into photography, if you want to do, um, you said you're doing product videos though, now that I see that as well. If you're really going to get into video, um, I would maybe consider an M50 for its 4K abilities or go with the a7 III, maybe look into some Sigma or other lenses through adapters and you know maybe spend the extra money on the lenses. The a7 III is very competitive camera there's not a lot that can touch it right now for everything it delivers uh, at its price point you do have to spend more to get the quality lenses i would want to use with it however um great great camera um i think it's the 18 to 105 sony the g uh, the constant aperture f4 that i would suggest you get with it i believe it's the 105 i don't think they do 120 that's what i would get was the 18 to 105 great lens constant aperture f4 i would throw in some primes whatever prime suits you an 85 some people like a little wider with a 50 but get an f18 or an f14 prime f18s are fine just not as fast as an f14 save you some money there um because if, if, if you are heavily into video and you really want to go full frame that's a better camera than the 60 mark ii especially for video if you just want to do for photos, a 60 Mark II is a decent camera. Um, so that's what I would do. It just depends on what your needs really are. If you really want, like you said, product videos, and if you're branching more into that, if you find yourself shooting more video, then perhaps the a7 III is the way to go. Also, get in the store. Get them in your hands. Play with them. See if you like it. Maybe you have. But if you haven't, get out there and do that because you may find a lot of people don't like the ergonomics of a Sony. They're kind of a brick computer. They don't have the grace and flow of a camera per se. I, I, um, the design on them is often a little lacking. They don't. They seem like they're built by a tech engineer and not a avid photographer, as far as how they're designed. Um, not to knock them for their performance, but um, some people find that, and I know I do. Uh, but they do perform well. So that's what I would say on this subject. You, and again, you can stick with your SL2. It'll be just fine. You don't get 4K if you're doing a lot of video, but. Uh, fantastic little camera. Really like the SL2. Maybe an upgrade on some lenses with the SL2 is the better way to go for you. Again, I don't know what your budget is. If you have the budget and you want to go to something like an a7 III and try it out and you're not worried about the, the budget, then you know what's stopping you basically. It's a great camera. Let me throw it back to you guys. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Do you agree with my recommendations here? Um, do you think it comes down to budget? Do you think you should stick with his SL2? Um, 
let us know. Let us know what you guys think. Maybe you have another suggestion. Leave it in the comments below. Always great to hear back from you guys. Helps our viewers get a more rounded bunch of feedback when they're considering what to do, how to spend their money. And uh, as you know, it can be daunting sometimes making photography purchases. Thanks, Stu, for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.